Hi, I'd like to show you another unique feature of the Agilent 53200 series counters. The use of the math function limits and combining that with both front panel numeric display and the trend chart. As you can see on the screen, 10 megahertz signal is introduced and I want to measure over time how stable is that signal. Going to the math key and selecting limits, I initially have a lower and upper value that are zero. So a key was been, has been placed to allow you to set to the current min and max of the signal. And then if you need to extend those ranges further, you can use the arrow and the knob keys in order to make those changes. If I turn on the limits, and if I cause a perturbation to the signal, normally when these limits are exceeded, you'd hear a beeping taking place, and that's fairly annoying, so we'll ignore that right now. That can be turned on and off. So from the front panel, you actually have a visual representation of how well is the signal, and how well is the signal being introduced. But if you move to the trend chart, now you've got those same limit lines extended in an analog form showing exactly what's happening with that signal. Moving to the zoom and markers, I've collected almost a thousand readings and I can show all those readings and you can see the perturbations that have taken place with the signal over time. The red dots above and the red dots below indicate readings that are out of range and the blue in between the two lines are the readings that are within range. If you want to find out exactly what's happening, you have a decimated signal right now. Out of about a thousand readings, and with a hundred readings shown on the screen, each one of these groups of a max and a min actually represent ten readings. So you can move the markers to find out approximately where that reading is, and then you can monitor the min and max on the screen. Or you can continue to press the show all key which will continue to add readings as they are taken. Using the zoom function, I can zoom back in, I can pan the signal, I can get right to the area of interest, and then I can analyze the signal further. If you find the signal is something that you really like, you can do a screen capture with the utility key, or you can use the save readings and store those to a USB drive. So using the limits math function, either from the front panel numeric display or the trend chart, gives you a powerful tool for analyzing frequency drift or signal drift over time and allowing you to actually analyze that with the zoom and markers capability of the trend chart.